Today, we are hiding metal bars away from public view. Underneath a mega printing facility. So if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like and let's get started. Last time, we increased our productivity with night teams. Have we achieved better development times? Yes, we have. Like, honestly, every single year, we are releasing one piece of software. Now, it's all about money. We increased our productivity, but but not our efficiency here at Logic Labs. We're doing pretty well. We're developing new software every single year. We bought this office. It's an incredible office, but today we're gonna delete the whole interior of this office and we're gonna retrofit it. Brand new development teams. Gonna make sure there's a canteen area. We're gonna make sure that people aren't sitting next to each other because there are distractions. This area is very noisy and it's very noisy noisy here with all the computers being next to each other. So we have a lot of work on our hands, so let's get to retrofitting this office. The office is finally complete and it's being used the way it was intended to be used. Let's wait for the daytime and take a look at this brand new office space. This is the reception area. We've got a fire door, which is some stairs, which is all right. We've kept this design here. Over here, we've got a little passage right here that goes into a meeting room. Then also comes into this main area. This is a canteen lounge area. Got a kitchen, all your bathrooms, here with showers. Coming in over the right side, we have a passageway coming into here. Look at these closed doors. These will be our finance teams in here. They will do all of our taxing and they will be doing all the secret stuff. Apart from that, this is the CEO office and this is not my office, but it is the leader offices. It's a very nice office, I have to admit. This here is a development studio here. I've actually gone through here and we've actually set it up in a way where they've got these big desks. A computer, they got a plant, they got a little light, they got some papers. And you know what? This is a really nice office space. We go up the stairs. Now this is going to be the exact same. We've got our new development studio, which is in the back corner here. Coming in, we've got two doors here. Coming into here, we've got the programming station. So this is where all the programmers are. We've got whiteboard. You know, we've got some crates down here, bookshelves, mini fridges, lounge area here with some whiteboards. And then these doors here, and they're not doors. They're just passageways to come into this area. This is our development studio. So, you know, all of our designers will work in here designing the next gen softwares in here. Through that passageway again, and this is a bit of the artist studio here. All the artists are going to do their things in here. Time to release Logic 2D version 8. So let's see how we went. 3 star, 5 star, and 4 star. Beautiful to see. I'm going to give it about a $200,000 marketing budget here, and we'll order about 4 million copies. Man, that is getting expensive, isn't it? And Logic OS version 3. How did this go as well? Let's have a look. Three, four star, three star, and four star. Beautiful. I'm going to give about a $150,000 marketing budget. And um, we've got to order more copies. Whoops. A few months have gone past. And we're actually doing really well in terms of Logic OS and Logic 2D. Logic OS, let's have a look. It's made 8.7, 8.7, and $4 million. It actually done pretty well. Unfortunately, the reason April is low is because we've run out of copies. So I've just ordered more copies. And in terms of Logic 2D, 12 million, 13 million, and 7.7 .7 million.
$10 million, like fluctuating all the time. But you know what time it is, guys. It is time to release the fourth version of Logic 3D. Three, three, and three. Beautiful to see it. Let's give it about a $100,000 marketing budget and we'll order about, I think, six million copies. It makes $4.5 million. That is incredible. And check this out. Logic OS, $12.4 million and $15.8 million for Logic 2D. I want to make more money. And how are we going to make more money? Well, we're going to look at renewable energy. We've got $260 million. What we are going to do is we're going to buy every single plot of land here. Place in as many wind turbines on this block of land as we can. And just like that, wind turbines to generate electricity and you can't see that but in the back corner there we've got a nice massive storage container yep with just solar panels on top yep that's all it is just solar panels to generate electricity if we come into our utility tab we're gonna see the income skyrocket we're producing about three megawatts and look at that eighty-five thousand. look at this electricity just skyrocketing 137,000 back to the grid pretty much pays for all of our build so the goal for this block of land is we're gonna build our a printing and server warehouse facility here Apart from a server and warehouse facility under the ground, we're going to build out a gold storage facility. Let's take a look at the printing facility. If you take a look at the exterior of the building, we've got two secure, four security cameras here with this guy waiting here at the door. We've got a really nice massive window along here, which is really cool. Another four cameras over here. But this is actually an atrium. So if we actually go down into this floor, you'll see that we've actually got a bit of a balcony here that overlooks this area. I think this just adds a little bit of something a little bit different, actually. But let's go to the bottom floor because on the bottom floor, we've got polished floors. So we've got a nice little area to sit down, watch telly, have a cup of coffee or something like that. Then, as you can see, at the entrance, there's lots of cameras everywhere. Cameras galore. But check this out. This door here, is guarded by one, two, three, four, five security guards. Honestly, that is honestly crazy. And inside that this room here, we've got some cameras that these guys are here looking at. And then we've got another room here. It says, do not enter. And if we enter through this room and we go down these stairs, you're coming down to this floor here. So we got some more security monitoring going on down here. But check out this wall. Security camera, 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 camera camera galore and this facility is going to house all of our gold silver and copper which we are going to do very shortly but let's come back upstairs because in this space here we've got a massive storage facility and this is something a little bit different because we've got so many lights and so many sprinklers in here so hopefully fingers crossed we do pass our fire inspection in the back corners here we do have battery storage which is cool that helps run the facility and if we go upstairs again we've got all of our printers here with helipads up the top which is cool as well as in this second floor here we've got all of our servers we've got the main net we've got the scm net and we've got our digital store as well i hired a fake team called demo finance now we're gonna go to employees we're gonna select every single employee we're gonna fire every single one of them and then we're gonna just get rid of the team all together and why did I hire a fake team? Well, check out underground. <gasps> Wait, do you see that? Wait, do you see that? Is it visible? There you go. Look at all that gold, copper, and silver. We could honestly hire a massive team just to keep buying out gold, 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 gold. Honestly, this looks sexy. Take a look at all those golden bricks. Oh, man, there's millions of dollars just sitting under here. But it's okay, guys, because we've got security galore here. And if we go upstairs, we've got security here. And, well, we've got security here. And, well, no security here. Oh, I was hoping there was some security there. You know one thing that we should really start considering?
sharing is digital distribution. And just like that, they'll be able to start smashing out the distribution platform. We'll be able to release that next time and Logic 2D as well as we should start taking a look at automation. I want to get the audio team back in here and start taking a look at automation, doing something like that. If you guys got any thoughts, suggestions on what we should do next, make sure you also leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. If you did go enjoy today's video, guys, consider subscribing down below. And guys, I'll see you all in a new video soon.